Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Boyfriend Dungeon. I am the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. I'm Chibi Noob. And I'm Jaren Cosplay. And we gotta pick on pick someone to go to Jesse's Barbecue. Now, I'm personally a fan of Valeria, but I'm willing to hear other arguments. I think we did Isaac last time. Yeah, yeah. and I don't think anyone really think likes Sunder so. that much. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, we'll go with her. She accepts, and she'll meet you there. On the way over, you pick up something to share. Soda, cheesies, or cake? I think cake. I like cake. cake. Yeah, I feel like she would like cake. You worry it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. You find Valeria waiting outside Jesse's hey, house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? Oh, yeah. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from back from the backyard, and you go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. You found your only cousin. Everyone be friendly, okay? A few strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. Your your cheeks feel oh, you warm. Brought cake. Perfect. We needed something sweet. Excellent. And who's this with you? <laughs> something else that's sweet. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. You're welcome. I want a little tour. I need to go and prep the bur yeah. burgers and shrooms. Oh, she liked baklava. She brought baklava. Mm -hmm. I like me some baklava. Nice. Oh man, can't wait. Thanks so much. In the meantime, fucking Gary, meet Jonah. Here you go. Talk. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks um, away. Hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot. You knew that already. And I'm fucking Gary. That's me. Yeah, cool. Well, um, so that's us. <laughs> you stand awkwardly, both trying to think of something to say. Jesse's ex, what do you do? I do a lot of surfing and hanging out mostly and some reading too. Oh, wait, did you mean for work? I don't oh, yeah, really that's right. have a job right now. Jesse said you fight monsters, is that right? You're some kind of hero? It's very dangerous. It's no big deal. It pays well. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. I wasn't expecting Jono's voice to sound like that. I mean, he's kind of a surfer, dude. Pretty chill, laid back guy. A little bit. I thought it would be deeper. Hmm. You want me to be deeper? I've been thinking about trying the dumb jail myself <laughs> sometime, baby. <laughs> Jesse said you wield, um, weapons down there. I can sometimes <laughs> be an axe. I don't often do it though. How do you do it? That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Doesn't take much effort though. I just decide to change shape, like clenching a fist. Mean maybe <laughs> I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I could definitely use the money for the gig, but uh... you promise we won't hurt anyone, like. Not even animals. Can't promise anything. Only monsters. I'm vegan. <laughs> Only monsters. Oh, that didn't work. And who decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? I'm vegan. <laughs> but I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. Or if you just want to hang out like as humans, I'm usually at the beach. That sounds good. Larry rejoins in gentleman with, uh, and who's the cute friend of yours? Mm. Jonah, we've met. I know you. You're the one that always brought bought duck at the grocery store, right? Eric oh, abruptly no. elbows his way no. into the conversation. Oh. <laughs> Hello. May I kiss your hand? No. No thanks. Eric smiles as if you've made a joke only he could understand. Oh my god. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey, Eric, I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriotic type. Well, I heard it, the aloof that fucking Gary would be here, so I had to make an appearance. <laughs> With the romance of the barbecue and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. <sighs> Real subtle, bro. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on the target. Your metaphor is terrible. <laughs> Perhaps yeah. you can help me craft a better turn of phrase to capture your beauty. Party music plays from the speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking loudly. 
Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Air poison! I cannot stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give my regards to Jeffy and Samantha. I must flee. He <laughs> leaves. Thank God. We still gotta talk to him, though, which sucks. <laughs> you okay, fucking Gary? Eric really gets to you, huh? I'm fine, thanks. I hate him. Yeah, yeah. I hate him. <laughs> I, I can't completely lock it out, or we're not fighting, fighting the final boss, and I want to try that. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Valeria gives you a little smile of sympathy. That guy gives me the crips. Hmm. Eric and Jesse and I went to Eric and Jesse and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. I have enough problems. It's a nice thought. He'll never under. It's a nice thought. It's probably just a thought. I don't know if he can be helped, honestly. The evening goes by surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. Eat a burger and grill with grilled portobellos, steadily walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets, watching fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild romantic energy surge through you. You have to kiss Valeria or kiss Jonah. Or resist. Do we edge? Oh, resist is such a strong word. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to resist. I feel like we've already at least gone to second base with Valeria. I'm going for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Share a tender moment together as the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those are some explosions, all right. Now back to the party. I hope I hope Jesse won't think I'm rude if I cut out now. I have work that I want to huh? do tonight. And celebrating imperialist colonizers isn't really my jam. It was fun, though. Nice meeting you. I thought we already met. Larry gives you a light peck on the cheek on her way out. See ya. I don't think they met. I think they seen each other. Oh, okay. Let's fend they're, yourself. They're aware of each other. I'm aware of a lot of things. A deep tiredness <laughs> soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah, and shuffle home. Alright. Can we do a little crafty? Whoop, we got a new scene. Single malt, that's probably good for somebody I know. Oof, sleepy time zine. So, how was that barbecue? So romantic, right? You win. Right, that's probably... Nope, he's not done. I knew it. So you consider my job here done. You've met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of the summer. Is that okay? More dates, please. <laughs> More dates, please. Uh-oh. Okay, I can keep an eye out, but no promises. I've got... Problems of my own, you know. Love you, cuz. My meeting again? I'll explain. I'll explain some things. Please. Sure. She's at the park. Here's a hint for where to find me. Thanks. How about you, Jonah? Nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk more sometimes if you ever wanted. Maybe I could show you some surfing spots. Sounds fun. You surf? It is even more with friends, though. Either way, I hope your summer in VB is the best. Thanks. Come to the beach sometime if you feel like it. Alright. Haven't really been using these. I probably should start. Throws a mine trap. Or a fireball. What do you guys think? Fireball. Oh, mine is the E. Fireball. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anything new yet? All right, Let's get up our love rank, and then we get another one with someone else. Valeria sitting on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she hey. sees you. You came. I'm really glad. Wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together, not one bit. Um... Wish I had been... I don't know. You seemed angry. I was, not at you. I can explain, but the sound of loud quacking interrupts uh... her. Shut up, ducks! Can you believe that noise? Hope you're not one of those people that feeds the ducks to the park. I am, actually. I'm not. I hate ducks! <laughs> Fuck them ducks! 
Larry's eyes light up <laughs> and she grabs your arm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Hate them. Hate them. You know, they're part of nature and I should feel the oneness with all things. But ducks? Ugh, oh, those beady little eyes, those snapping <laughs> bills. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Got too close with a piece of bread and then... <laughs> Sounds like me with geese. Gone. Just like that. Is that true? That's scary. <sighs> Larry's lips twist into a rueful grimace and she sighs. Okay, maybe I exaggerated, but only a little. No, uh, promise not to laugh? It didn't happen to a friend. It was me! <laughs> Dio? <laughs> ah, you know what? Nothing for nothing. Dio could rock that outfit. But to be fair, Dio Absolutely. could rock just about any yes. outfit. Valeria. Especially Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Valeria holds up a hand showing you a faint scar on Hendrix finger. Can I kiss it better? Oh, extends her hand, you look her in the eyes and kiss the tip of her finger. She shivers and you slide your lips down to her palm, her wrist. After a long moment, you realize you're fucking in the park. <laughs> she, <laughs> she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> you're, uh, good at that. Sound of loud quacking interrupts we've never, the moment. We've never dated anyone in our lives. Hey man, we're and a yet. natural. You know how sometimes you, you roll up a character and their charisma's just through the roof? True. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. <laughs> what will, whatever will they think? Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah, we might have... Uh, no. I... No, we're at full. We're at full. Let's let's save the gift for when we're on a low level. Next time we'll go on a date without the risk of death. Alright, so we get backstab, attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Sounds hmm. wonderful. But we were talking about something actually important. Right, I remember. I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. You don't have to. It's your business. I'm listening. It's your business. Yeah, unfinished business to be specific that followed me to Verona huh? Beach. So that guy, right, who keeps showing up, his name is Jake. I dated him for a couple um. of years. And um, I dated his sister as well at the same time. I mean, they both knew. Dual wielding? You dated siblings? How did that work? I barely dated anyone. Do we? <laughs> I suppose I was. Trust me, it was even more work than it sounds. I messed up a lot at first, but we learned. Got better at being together. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me. Three artists, but never the two of them together, because that would have been really fucking weird. Three artists against the world. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same things. And then... Greed and pride and ambition got in the way, as they always do. Jessica wanted more. More recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which is foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona, looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. He's in love with you. You argue a lot. Huh? He's in love with you. Maybe a little. We've been together for a long time. Is that so strange? <sighs> But I think I always loved Jessica a little bit more. It's terrible, isn't it? It happens. I'm trying to make up for it now by being a good friend. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I suppose you could say. <sighs> I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot, following us around and all. I'll take I'll talk to him about it. Get him off get him to back off for real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift here. Ooh, we get a oh, beret. Thank you. I saw oh, it yeah. in the museum gift shop and thought of you. I'm like, fucking Gary's a French fucker, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait uh, to try it. I think it. we'll Aww. fuck anything but Eric. Yeah. True. You don't have to wear it, but you'll look dashing if you do, I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know, paintings if you wanted. Yeah, sure. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I look forward to seeing what you think next time. You got a lot to think about. Go home. Think about your life. Let's go check out our new hat. Fancy French accent not included. Enemies get stunned when they damage you. I like that. Nice. Cool. All right. Oh! Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry, but you will. But is it, uh, serious? I don't know yet. We're eloping. Just friends, Ma. We're eloping. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> My invitation is in the mail or else. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. 
which I guess is a saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. She's gonna mm -hmm. leave us on that note, okay. Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean clean, I'm not a nun, but this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. We'll let you know... We'll let you know when its smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found a cool art by the mall. Did you see this? Oh, I love murals. Looks cool. Maybe we can check it out together sometime. All right. We have any other dates? Overworld things? I don't know. People? Yes, People? Is searching. Sure thing? It's a date at the mansion. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. When did we get that? Our oh. day. <laughs> Look for any Earth. overworld stuff real quick. Earth. Doesn't look Our like favorite. we got anything. Hmm. Oh, we got a new shot. Oh, forgot about them. Because we already know who's here, let's do this one first, and then we will find out of our mystery person. You arrive at the beach to see lots of surfers enjoying a windy day. After some squinting, you see a particular surfer out on the water, uh, waving at you. Wave back. Wait. Leave. <laughs> Wave back. <laughs> See the surfer make a beeline towards you, ignoring the waves? You think he's smiling. Sooner than seems possible, he's jogging towards you, dripping with salt water. It's Jonah! Hi. Hey. Glad I caught you. Do you really Hello. prefer the deep voice over his, his quite frankly, sexier one? <laughs> I right. can't take you seriously like that. <laughs> I was no. just about to take a break anyway. Can I get you a beer? Sure. He has a small smile and buys drinks from a guy with a cooler passing by. A bottle as cold as against your palm and already sweating from the heat. Delicious. Uh, oh, it's so... Another beautiful day, huh? Yep. I guess so. We'll sit quietly and look out over the beach as the waves Sorry. roll in. Oh, dang. Awkward silence again. Sorry. <laughs> I thought all kinds of questions to ask you, but they're gone now. Poof. Maybe it's because I lost my job, and I don't feel like I'm thinking so clearly these days. Uh, I kind of don't want to think at all. Maybe it sounds dumb, but I want to just listen to the waves. You lost your job? It seems smart to me. I hate small talk. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's important, though, like making friends is about getting to know each other. It's just a little distracting to be fired so suddenly. Like what? Like one day's everything's stable and the next you don't know how you're gonna eat. I worked in a, I worked in a grocery store and I was fired for turning into my axe form, basically. Harsh. I, I know, right? It's not like I did it to threaten anyone. A kid in the checkout line was asking his mom all kinds of questions about weapon people. And it was clear to me the kid was... Weapon curious. The mom didn't know what to say. So I just turned into an axe for a second, you know, so it, it'd it feel normal and he wouldn't feel so alone. Yeah. Here he goes. Here he nice goes. Girl. Whoa. Yeah, bounce. He's a merman. No, he's an axe. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like that. See, not a big deal, right? Right? At least I thought so. It's just part of who I am. But his mom complained to the manager and said it. I scared them, so there went my job. Oh well, more time for surfing and thinking, or uh, not thinking. You said maybe you could join in the dungeon sometime. I'm down. Definitely. Nods and sips his beer, looks out over the ocean. I have to wonder about our friendship, though, in the long term. All right, heavy attacks sweep you strongly left or right towards enemies. Because I really wish I didn't have to do violence to anything or anyone. It's like, why is it only doctors who swear to do no harm? Why isn't there everyone, that everyone, everyone? Jesse said you've been dating some weapon folk, but you seem so soft and vulnerable. Mm. How could you <laughs> trust them? I mean, us weapon people were made to hurt. I have to fight. I have to to fight. I follow my heart. I don't compete. I follow my heart. His lips quirk up self-consciously. I guess weapons have a certain raw sex appeal, but I totally understand if you eventually decide you can't be like besties. We can just work together. <laughs> to be honest, I wish we lived in a world where I never had to be an axe at all. Get uh, it? You do? Huh. 
I didn't think someone who went to the dead so often would understand. But I guess it's nice to have more options for making cash, even if they're violent ones. Jonah empties his bottle and stretches out, looking at the water. Well, I'm gonna go back in there. Let me know if I can help you chop stuff. See ya. <laughs> and he's gone. Goodbye. All right. I'm gonna trash my throat doing that. Uh, hey, you know, I feel bad I was uh, so negative when we talked. I hope I didn't bring you down. You didn't. Oh, good. I'm glad. Still gonna show you my brighter side next time, in and out of the dungeon, if you insist. Okay. I think we're good on that. Any overworld? Getting less and less overworld stuff. I'm a little disappointed. Ah, bushes. Light posts. You arrived just as a hearse drives away. If it seems someone died, why did we show up here? The young person stares down the street after it. Goodbye. <laughs> I liked my version better. Until next Yours time. Yours was Alice. so much better. Farewell. <laughs> How's the difference between Yin doing this voice and that? I think that one was me. Yeah, it was CC. Oh. Oh, huh. right. I can never remember sometimes. I'm sorry for your loss. Who's Alice? Next time? Who's Alice? Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Oh. Okay. It's you. It's me. Me. Why did you come here? Fucking Gary. You know me? Just exploring the town. Can't a person... Well, yeah, I'm exploring. They purse their lips, eyes dark. No, I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. The Ow. monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. If it weren't uh, for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. Um. You're starting to give a JRPG protagonist, man. Their shape begins to change. Getting all the transformations today. Yep. Whoa. Hell yeah. Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. Honestly, pretty sick. Also, very edgelord. Yes. <laughs> they seem serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life is on the line. Wait, don't please. Back off. I'm warning you. Just do it then. Enticing temptation. Almost sexual. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking Gary for you. The scythe Are they hitting on us after seeing their grandma drive off in a hearse? I mean, they said they wanted to hit us, and now they're hitting on us. What did you expect? <laughs> scythe gleams hungrily at your urging, as if... Wait it! <laughs> There's a moment of silence as the breeze passes between you. Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Try. Pretty human. Oh, thank you, Burj. <laughs> Uncertainty passes over their features. So, why, why did you come to Verona Beach? I don't have to tell you anything. You should apologize. Who even are Who you? Who even are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't gotta tell you shit. You should apologize. Should we? Should we try Who? to dom them? No. Who even are you? I'm Who even are you? My threat wasn't personal. I assure you. Oh, it sounded that way. In your situation, though I hadn't expected you to respond the way you did. Well, how you'd the be, fuck did you expect us to respond? You'd be res you'd be surprised at what kind of responses I can create. I must remember that you are unpredictable. Yep. Perhaps more dangerous than I thought. Yep. Ah. Uh. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. My grandmother is gone either way, and you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your chaos what chaos you know, dungeons everywhere creatures running amok someone's There's violating the laws of nature there's a wrongness rippling you've been seeing weapons damaged haven't you it's a pattern of evil intent only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again and i should get back to it that's what alice would have wanted are you a witch or who's alice are you a witch are you a witch they don't acknowledge your question and turn Bye. away. See ya! Bye. They disappear into the house, leaving you alone on the street. Okay. Well. We were threatened. 
we certainly were, and I kind of liked it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was hot. <laughs> oh, I think a lot of things are hot. Hmm. Definitely don't want to go there. Athleisure! Athleisure? You want to go to Athleisure? It's a, it's a clothing store. I want to look cute. Hi! <laughs> Do you know what that reminded me of? What? Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Oh boy! <laughs> Shame these don't actually do anything. I know. They're more just... Be cute. I want to look cute, though. I'm trying to think of a certain... Hang on. I think there's one thing that we haven't been able to craft yet. What do we need for that? Oh, we need a bolt of fabric. We can go to athleisure and get that. Let's do that. <laughs> Too bad we weren't just there. Well, I wanted to check, make sure we didn't need plastic or something. We weren't going to get that here. Unless we could get, we could get plastic there. <laughs> All right. I think we only needed the one. Do, 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 do. We have crafted the sleepy time zine. Make them go to sleep. All right, what else is here? Ooh. What is this? Ah, oh, we can uh, switch up the stuff. Right. Ooh, a shop at the docks. Welcome. Welcome in, bienvenue, come on in. We'll get that, that's probably important for later. Actually, we probably should... Probably should check the shops to make sure there's nothing that, like, we don't need as far as, uh, gifty stuff goes. Well, that's fucking expensive. Uh, yep. Yeah. We need to keep going to the dunge. Yes, yes we do. Was there anything here that was worth, uh, a, a, a little price to me? A little gift? A little gift, perhaps? A little gifty gift? Nope, no gifty gifts. They're just for us. No, I did not want to click that again. You, you jerk. <laughs> you jerk us. It's like Pokemon. Ugh. I'm imagining us, it, like, but... stuck in a revolving door. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fucking Gary. Find time in your busy life to stop by. You have anything that I can give to people that I actually like? No. Nope. I'll just text you later. Just supplies. Ugh, please don't. But please do, I want to fight your evil monster thing. Alright. That's looking like about it. So, until we can get another date with Rowan and some other stuff, I think that's about what we're going to have to call it here for today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!